Okay guys, this is Shelby from Shelby's Garage coming back at you and I have a new vehicle in the fleet. I just leased for the first time a Subaru Solterra EV Premium Edition in the black. Um, it has the 20 inch wheels or 18 inch wheels yeah and um, it's EV totally electric. Um, I decided to go this route because just the price. It's going to end up, end up saving a lot of money in the long run. Um, it's a Subaru. It's all wheel, symmetrical all wheel drive. Um, it has new windshield wiper in the back. It is comparable to the Subaru Forester and the Crosstrek. It's kind of in between. As you can see it has the electric here. It rained last night so it was a little wet and I had charged it. Um, there is no frunk. So there's no, there's the engine in the front. It's a beautiful car. Um, go ahead and show you the inside. This is really cool. You can just open it with that. And um, it's just really, really nice um, inside. The, the dash is a little funky. Um, you got it way out there. So you have to really, you really have to sit up. This is my viewpoint right here that I see. Um, but it's a nice view point. Nice view. Um, there's not too many uh, blind spots, although that back panel is a little bit. But I didn't. I opted to get the um, lower class or lower model, so it's heated seats um, and stuff like that. Um, it has the piano finish, which I'm not crazy about. I think that's going to really um, show marks and show things. Um, this little cubby thing's like clear plastic. It's kind of cool. And then you got your center thing here, cup holder. And then this, you know, you got like, this does not have a glove box. Um, you don't have a glove box. I guess I am going to use this as my glove box right here. It also slides up so you can have it there. You do have a little cubby down here. Which is kind of nice. And the premium or the upper grades, this would be a charge pad. But um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It does have like this fabric dash that's kind of unique and different. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, I got this as a lease. This is the first time I ever leased a car. I wanted to give that a try because since I always seem to get cars every few years, I feel that the, the lease is the better route to go for me. And it's, that, that tailgate's really heavy. It doesn't have an assist, but it has, um, it came with the mats. And like I was saying, it's, it's for me, it is a very good deal. I'm sa saving a few hundred dollars a month with this lease. And I don't have to pay gas. And as you can see in the back, it has the mats back here that came with it. And we got ports back here for charging and air conditioning vents. You got a nice little pull down here with a little a little space right in there to put something. You got a um, this is actually a Toyota product, so you got a Toyota key. And this is my little thing that I got from. 717 supply to use it today um it's just basic but it has an app where you can access the car and turn on the heat turn on the air conditioning turn on everything um yeah and um i'm i'm ecstatic by this car i think it's great i'm not crazy about the black color i'm not crazy but i did not want to get white because then we would have all white cars mustang white the cone is white and then this would be white. So I wanted to just be one of 
put on black. Cause black is good when it's pretty, when it's clean. And I'm, I apologize about the wind. The wind is picking up here. But I got a good deal on my trade, my Maverick. They gave me 24000 for it. I owed like fifteen, So that 8000 or so um, went towards bringing the payment down. Because once the lease is over, I have the option of buying this car. And uh, my purchase price then would be about 22500 That's if I wanted to. Or I can trade it in and get a totally different car or another one like this. Or this may not work out. I did have the windows tinted. The front windows are already tinted to match kind of the back. And I'm waiting on a tag bracket for the back. Um, but I think the back is kind of unique. It's just a really unique car. It has all-wheel drive, so for our road and winter time, I think it would be good. The um, range at 80% is um 230 230 but i charge it to 80 or 90 percent and i got 253 and that's sufficient enough for me it does have fast charging capabilities apparently it's slow it takes an hour to do 10 to 80 percent but this is the charger that i got at home i don't have it charged or plugged in but um I'm really excited and happy about the car, um, and I got a lot of free stuff. I got a lot of free, um, Subaru gives you um, 10 days to rent a car from their fleet, like an Outback or a cross truck or something, if you need it to go farther than what this vehicle would bring you. So I think that is a fantastic idea. I will probably use that, um, the 10 days. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's my fleet update. That's my new car. Um, I'm hoping that it will be just as good as people say that it is. It, the, the, re the reviews are not great because people, it's not the, the newest, greatest technology. There's better out there, but this is what I could afford. This is what I decided to get because of the all-wheel drive. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot more in a payment. Right now this payment, this lease payment is $239 for 36 months. So I think that is fantastic, not having to pay gas or um, really anything. And I don't even have to worry about warranty once, um, you know, or if I decide to keep it, it does have an eight year, 100,000 mile on the battery. Um, and then the, the regular th three year, 36,000 on everything. and. There's different warranties and stuff, but um, I'm happy with it, um, and I'll be doing more reviews. Like, share, and comment if you'd like to hear more about this. Please comment in the um, section. Alright guys, see you later.